Hello and welcome to a new video. Here I will show you how to list posts generated by my plugins that are in a specific category on a specific page. So if you want to have a page for tech, for example, you can list all posts from tech on that page. If you want to have a business page, a page for business, you can list all business related pay, uh, posts on that another page. So this applies to all my plugins, but I will show you how to do this in Newsomatic. Let's get started. Let's import some posts from TechCrunch, for example. All you have to do is uh, import posts from TechCrunch. You can also assign categories to posts, but this is just optional. Let's have a look at our blog how posts got imported. So these are the imported posts from TechCrunch. Let's select another source. Let's say ABC News. Start importing. Also, we will get some additional uh, posts from ABC News. And here they are. Okay, now let's create our pages. One for uh, the tech uh, post and one for ABC News post. So let's give the page a title tech and another page, let's say news, general news, whatever. Okay, so to list a post generated by the plugin on these uh, pages we have to go to main settings. This depends how you wish to make uh, this. You can use these short codes to list posts and you can also use Gutenberg blocks uh, to list these posts because the plugin also implements Gutenberg block support. So if you want to use blocks go ahead and use blocks because uh, blocks are easier to use. If you don't want to use blocks or you don't have WordPress 5.0 or newer, you should use shortcodes. I will uh, show you the shortcode uh, usage first, then I will show you the block usage second. So let's copy this shortcode, for example, and add it to our tech page. Uh, okay, this is right. So, as you can see, this is the shortcode that got uh, generated for us. Uh, for uh, the beginning, let's remove everything and let's uh, leave only this rule ID and rule type. The rule ID refers to this uh, number. So if I want to import content from TechCrunch, I put there zero, rule ID zero, and rule type zero refers to latest news to post <coughs> or custom news to post. So if I have rule type zero, it will be from latest news to post. If I have rule type one, it will be from custom news to post. Okay, so if we have rule ID 0 and rule type 0, then we will go to latest news to post and TechCrunch, the ID 0. It will list content from there. So let's update and check. So here are listed the TechCrunch uh, articles. Let's add also featured images to them. To do so, you should copy this. Also, we can uh, uh, show you everything that can be done with this. So let's paste, include, except true, image size, thumbnail, wrapper, div. Now also images will be added to uh, Posts. You can uh, change uh, uh, how these uh, how the posts appear. Uh, everything is very dynamic. 
so you can change everything that appears here okay so now we know how to list posts uh, on this page now let's go to the news page and do the same all we have to do is modify the id from 0 to 1 so on the news page rule id should be set to 1 let's check our page and here it is the abc news listed over here and the tech news from TechCrunch listed over here okay so let me uh, go ahead and show you uh, the Gutenberg block uh, how to do this with Gutenberg blocks you have to click plus go to embeds section and select newsomatic display posts here you should select rule type latest news to post rule id 0 and here are the rest of the parameters that can be configured for the uh, list post shortcode this is why i said that using blocks is much easier because here you also will have help on each parameter and uh, what are valid values for them okay so let's leave this at its default value update the post and let's check what we get so we get the same listing uh, of the news okay now let's go to the uh, tech uh, short code let's delete this also and let's add a block display posts latest news to post and rule id 1 update and let's view the page and uh, same will be uh, listed here also okay so i hope you enjoyed this feature of the plugin until next time bye bye